So I am presenting on social ecological systems health in transplant share conservation areas using the Prosuli project case. Uh, and my name is Priska Mugabe from the University of Zimbabwe and I really want to thank Jack for adequately introducing me because I am, my last certificate that I got from school said I'm a rangeland ecology and management person. So thank you very much for that great uh, introduction of me. Um, so this presentation is about uh, looking at social ecological systems health domain of One Health, looking at why the socio ecological systems health approach, how transparent uh, conservation areas are illustrative of these uh, socio ecological systems, and how the Prosuli project addressed socio ecological systems health within transplant conservation areas. And we are using partly the guiding principles of the social ecological systems which are linked systems of people and nature, wherein humans are not seen apart from nature, but as part of nature, with many interconnected relationships. And also, we look at the social ecological system health, which is a framework of health in social ecological systems, and the links of functionality and sustainability or resilience of the socio-ecological system so that one cannot promote the health of humans or domestic animals at the expense of the social ecological system's health as feedback loops will ultimately impact negatively on the health of both. We just give here an examples of the many uh, offerings of presenting social ecological systems one that we use in our platform, looking at the relationships between the ecological systems, the social ecosystems, the interconnected and uh, interactions, and also even the external drivers. So when we look at the Southern Africa transfrontier conservation areas, in terms of landscape scale, these are large scale biodiversity systems straddling at least two countries with one or more protected areas within that TFCA and multiple natural and cultural resources. And if we look at the Southern Africa Development Community uh, area, we have 18 TFCAs in various stages of formation, which are accounting for perhaps more than 10 million square kilometers of land area and also more than perhaps more than 12 million people. So these are not at all uh, insignificant. And so the philosophy of the TFCA is, is that uh, philosophy and maybe the purpose is to conserve biodiversity, to reconnect ecological systems and also to promote and facilitate natural wildlife migrations across these various countries. And economically, they are meant to uh, for tourism development, poverty reduction, regional socioeconomic integration, and they are governed uh, firstly by bi or multilateral agreements. So in terms of scale, they are formed and, and, and defined at that scale. So uh, 20 years or more since the formation of this idea of TFCAs in Southern Africa, we still witness relative imbalances, imbalance between local development and conservation, wherein the poverty, food security, and livelihoods of the people in those you re they receive imbalanced and attention and resources as compared to conservation, which in this case is normally looked at in terms of wildlife populations, ecosystem functioning, and so on at that level. And so again, we see yet another wicked, wicked problem of whether we are looking at conservation and or 
socioeconomic development. So the promoting sustainable livelihoods uh, in transplant yeah, conservation areas uh, or the ProSuli project was implemented in 2018 to 2022 um, to address the mismatch between biodiversity conservation, local livelihoods, and well-being of people in the TFCAs. And this was in four communities in two FCAs in Botswana, Mozambique, and Zimbabwe, with the hypothesis that collective action supported by tar targeted capacity building and co-designed governance systems could result in better appropriation of livelihoods and more sustainable use of natural resources for the benefit of the whole socio-ecological system. And we saw this in the previous ex uh, presentation. This is just an artist's uh, perception of the interactions and the connectivities and the components that we have in these TFCAs. So in terms of uh, the actual locations of uh, implementation of ProSuli, it was in um, two TFCAs at the top there. Unfortunately, I don't have a pointer. At the top there, the big green area is uh, bounded by the, the brown uh, boundary is the Kavango Zambezi Transfrontier Conservation Area straddling five countries. And the other one was implemented in the Great Limpopo Transfrontier Conservation Area, more to the south there, straddling two con uh, three countries. And in, 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 the, in the Kaza TFCA, we had two sites, one in the Seronga area of Botswana, where uh, we had agro-pastoralists and wildlife private sector coexistence issues. And so Prosuli came in with some facilitation to make that coexistence better. And in Wange, in, 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 in this neighborhood, we had Prosuli facilitating the foundation for a community landscape regeneration. In Sengwe, in southeastern Zimbabwe, we had Prosuli promoting or facilitating rather solar powered water pumping boreholes and which are coupled with irrigation systems and deep tanks for the control of animal diseases. And also, I can't read the other uh, stuff there. And then uh, in, in, in um, the site in Mozambique, we had also water uh, system facilitation and also tick-borne diseases uh, management. But the issue of boreholes and water pumping was quite common across the generality of those sites. So the ProSuli project used an uh, SES or social ecological system or landscape oriented approach in developing capabilities, facilitating agency and improving livelihoods for the well-being based on sound management of natural and social assets. Using also core elaborative participatory uh, co-elaborative scenario building where we facilitated for the communities to envision plausible future scenarios for local livelihoods. And after that, coming up with actions to promote the desired futures. In Zimbabwe, we also collaborate, collaborated with the Kama Africa Initiative for a participatory community-based socioeconomic livelihood toolkit to monitor the state and healthiness of the SES. So in terms of photographic representation, when we look at what we were doing in terms of core design and core monitoring of selected natural resources management options, we started with the core design process with the communities. And I would like to say out of the four years of the project, this core design took us one year and more. That's how important it was. And also participation in coming up with actions. And then empowerment. Here I give the example of empowering through the provision of water, which was then used to supply water to their t deep tanks 
which are used to control uh, ticks which cause diseases in cattle and other animals. And also the same water was used to supply water for school children and also the irrigated gardens and also the clinic. Clinic here, may I just quickly mention that um, it was about pregnant mothers in waiting who were at this clinic, who were supplied with this. And so we had also co-monitoring and sustainability. So just to look at um, some of the outputs of this, we had here, we are representing the socio-ecological system health in terms of the animal health management through the deep tank and also even provision of watering, clean watering systems. Because without that, those animals would have been going to a river infested with crocodiles to drink water and a lot of our losses would okay. Another socio-ecological systems health factor was the promotion and facilitation of these nutrition gardens, uh, provision of uh, space, solar powered water systems and storage, the fencing to manage human wildlife conflicts, provision of nutritive vegetables, even outside the rainfall season and also an opportunity for income generation. Another facilitation here in terms of the health was this activity which was run by a master student uh, facilitating the learning for those communities in terms of producing healthy sweet potato vines uh, which they had opted for and which actually are a way of managing human wildlife conflict because if the bulb is below ground, perhaps the monkey is not so going to go for it. Another empowerment in terms of human, uh, in terms of the social ecological system was that two of the communities or more, I, I would have to con con confirm with our Wange, uh, colleagues, actually managed to, through facilitation and capacity development and empowerment to manage themselves through an act of parliament to be an agriculture cooperative society. This bringing for them many benefits, many uh, bargaining uh, capabilities and spaces in terms of future engagement uh, in terms of their uh, development. So in conclusion, uh, we are saying Prosuli project advanced the socio-ecological health systems, uh, socio-ecological systems health framework in the context of TFCAs. A disclaimer, we could not have addressed all the complex, complex issues of socio-ecological systems, but I think we made a beginning. Through human and animal health as pillars of social ecological system, through the production of healthy food for healthy people, and how the health of the social ecological system can be operationalized to navigate the wicked problem at the interface between biodiversity conservation and local development. I thank you. <laughs>